my Jesus said, go teach the lost. My Jesus said, go teach the lost. My Jesus said, go teach the lost. We're doing what we're commanded. My Jesus said, go share his word. My Jesus said, Go share his word. My Jesus said, Go share his word. We're doing what we commanded. Pulpit times. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Public Times. Uh, we are going to consider another sermon and song. This one is a original a cappella teaching hymn like we did last week with Be Doers of the Word. We're going to do it with the whole armor of God. So bear with me as we get people in here. Bear with. Bear with. Glad you're here. Who's with me? Let me know who's here. I see we got two. We're going to study this hymn in just a minute here. Alright, I got all the tagging done. So bear with me as I get the video up. We're going to listen to the video. And then when we come back out. We will examine all the scriptures. All the lyrics in light of the authoritative scriptures because I don't have any authority. You have no authority. The Bible has all authority. Let's see if I will get that done. No. Give me just one more minute. There it is. Give me just a second. Oh, shut stop that screen. So let's have a listen to uh, the uh, we then we'll uh, come back and record it with all the relevant scriptures. Let's have a listen. Uh. 
I've got the sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation. I've got the sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got my way spelted with truth. The shield of faith that quenches. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got our God's righteous breastplate. The gospel shoes on my feet. Take up the whole armor of God, God Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got the prayers of petition. The spirit interceding. Take up the whole armor of God. Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. This is the whole armor of God. Christian. All right, that is the whole armor of God. We're Michigan's most experienced personal injury law firm. Whoops, so that is the original song I come up with um, Paul Mayfield. I, I wrote it and he helped me edit it with phrasing and syllable count. Now it's time to dig into the message that it teaches, shall we? So, verse 1, I've got the sword of the Spirit, the helmet of salvation, Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. That first line, I got the sword of the spirit, is supported by Ephesians six seven and Ephesians six seventeen, and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit. Which is the Word of God. We have the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. And Hebrews 4.12 says the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of sword and spirit, soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the, the, the heart. By here in your hand, you have a powerful sword. It is powerful enough, it is precise enough to pierce between the soul and spirit. People argue about whether or not they're the same thing or two different things. Side note, this verse proves that uh, they're two different entities. 
But even the sword of the spirit, the word of God is sharper. It cuts deep into the heart of mankind. Uh, sword and spirit, you join to new marrow. You, even the bone marrow that is on your bones. It's precise. It goes deep. And it is a discerner of your thoughts and intents of the heart. When I come to the word of God, I can expect to be challenged. I can expect to be challenged and to be judged by it. And when I come to the word of God, the sword of the spirit, I am coming to the great discerner of the heart and mind. I've got the sword of the spirit, this powerful sword. I've got the sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation. Uh, take up the whole army of God and Christian. them. The helmet of salvation was also uh, Ephesians 6.17 and take the helmet of Salvation. Have you ever wondered why it is a helmet? Well, salvation, faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God, right? It, it guards our head, it guards our thoughts. When we think of salvation and what God has done for us, it should shape our lives. Because we are saved, we should have a thought, the thought process of a Christian. We need to meditate on things that are noble, true, trustworthy, praiseworthy. The helmet of salvation take up the whole army of God, Christian. First Thessalonians five eight. But let us. Who of the day? Be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for and helmet, the hope of salvation. The helmet is close to your mind. It is your mind. It, it's on your head where your mind is. Think of salvation. It protects us. It protects our minds when they think of salvation. Supported by uh, Ephesians 6.13 is support for uh, the ne next line. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Not part of it. Christian, you need it all to stand against Satan. Take up the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand. Well, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. You need the whole arm of God, Christian. Take up the whole arm of God so that you'll be able to withstand. You're not going to be able to withstand with half of your armor on. Think about a Roman soldier, right? A Roman soldier does not go into battle without his helmet, without his sword, without his breastplate. He needs it all to... Uh, prepare for battle, to be fruitful in his battle. In the same way, we need all these armor pieces. Put on the whole armor of God, Christian. We can't just take half. We need it all. So that will cover verse 1. We go now to verse 2. We'll, we'll do... um. Well, we will do the verses 
And then the chorus. We'll support the chorus last. Verse 2, I got my ways belted with truth, the seal the faith that quenches. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. I got my ways belted with truth, the seal of the faith that quenches. Yeah. A ways belted with truth. In Ephesians 6.14, stand therefore. Stand, having your loins good about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Truth binds us together. It's like a belt. It holds up the armor. It's all based on truth. Have your waist. Uh, have your waist. Belted with truth. Make it be your sinner. A belt goes around the center of your body. Truth should be the center of the Christian's uh excuse me. Truth should be the center of the Christian's existence. How that weighs good about you. you. You know, in John 8, 31 and 32, Jesus says, You can know the truth, and then truth will make you free. It makes us free, folks. You gotta have that truth. Our truth is the foundation for putting on this whole armor. I got my way spelled with truth, the shield of faith that quenches. Ephesians 6.16, above all, taking the shield of faith, with which ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. What are some of those fiery darts? Doubt, disbelief, distrust, fear. Lying, gossip, maybe a death in the family, all these evil, uh, lustful thoughts can be a uh, hindrance, a dart that Satan throws you away. I got the shield of faith that quenches all the fiery darts of the evil one. Doubt, distrust, all this. Disbelief, gossip, murder, anger, slander, fornication, all the lies that Satan peddles in our world today. We have the shield of faith that quenches all that. And we can't forget what Hebrews 11 verse 6 says. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Without the shield of faith we can't quench the fiery arrows of Satan. We, we can't, and we can't please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Even in that chapter in Hebrews 11, we have men and women of faith, and that faith moved, moved them to action. By faith, Abel offered. By faith, Da, 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 da. It all happened by faith. By faith, Enoch walked with God. Faith is our guard. Faith is our shield. It's defensive. When we have a strong faith, we can see right through error. We're going to be able to uh, quench all the fiery doors
I'm saying, I got my ways brought to the truth. The seal of faith that quenches all the fire done to the evil one. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Ephesians six thirteen. Where, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand with the, will stand in the evil day, having done all to stand. We need that armor. Verse three. I got a God's righteous breast. The gospel shears on my feet take up the whole armor of God, Christian. There is one change that I need to make uh, to that verse and to the song. Ephesians 6 doesn't say we have gospel shears, we have the preparation. The readiness of the gospel peace. Take a look. I got a God's righteous breastplate with gospel shoes on my feet. Stand there for heaven and you learn to get about the truth. Ephesians 6.14 Having the breastplate of righteousness. You know, the breastplate is on your chest. It's uh, right next to your heart. Uh, It's close by you. It's on your body. We have God's righteous breastplate. God's righteous breastplate. It's on our body. It's there to protect us. Uh, we have God's imputed righteousness on us when we believe and have faith to do exactly what He said. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Uh, let's, well, let's uh, look at Romans chapter 4, 2 and 3. For if Abraham was justified by works, he, was, he has something to most about, most about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And notice, look at uh, verses 22 through 24 now. Abraham, was, his faith was counted to him as righteousness. We looked last week about how his faith moved him to leave his hometown and go to the land of promise. But notice this, it's not only for Abraham we get, it's not only Abraham that would get righteousness, it's for us. Well, verse 22, that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. See, the fact that Abraham was counted as righteousness was not only for his sake, but it does us good as well. It gives us confidence that we can be justified just like Abraham by faith and get the imputed righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. So, yes, we have a God's righteous breastplate just like Abraham did and the gospel shoes on my feet. And you 
And the Ephesians solved with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And the verse 3 ends. Oh, excuse me. The gospel shoes on my feet. Why is it on your shoes? Matthew 28, 18, 20 comes to mind. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. It's on our feet. Teach, baptize, teach. Go. Go make disciples. Christian, you need to go spread the gospel peace. I need to go spread the gospel peace. We have the preparation of the gospel peace on our feet. So, take up the whole armor of God, Christian, Ephesians 6, 13, again, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand, use all your resources, Christian, take up this whole armor, it's a battle, it's a fight. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Verse 4. I've got the prayers of petition. Uh, praying always with the Spirit, Ephesians 6.18. With all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all petition. Perseverance and supplication for all the saints, for all saints. We have prayer, we have access. We can pray for one another. We have access to the very throne room of God. It's a battle, folks, but we don't have to do it alone. I got the prayers of petition. We can petition God. Through the Spirit, because we have the Spirit interceding. Romans 8, 26 and 27. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth in our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh an intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh an incision for the saints according to the will of God. When we don't know what to pray, God has a sign, the Holy Spirit uh, for us. The Holy Spirit's job is to intercede on our behalf. When we groan, uh, does that mean God, does the fact that the Spirit intercedes mean that God's not sovereign? No, but God has purposed, God has given a role for, uh, for, for the spirit and to say and to say this first doesn't mean what it says and, and to say because the spirit has that role God is less than well you would have to have to say the same thing about Jesus since Jesus had the role and was sent from the Father is he less than God? No, but God designed it this way. He knows what we need, but he has a sign of spirit to help us in times when we can't 
pray when, when we get done have the words when we're struggling the spirit helps us we have this uh part of or not necessarily part of the army but a weapon is the spirit the spirit is leading for us so church take advantage of it use him Take up the whole arm of God, Christian. Take up everything. Ephesians 6.13 again. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Take up all your resources. Don't don't leave any one of them behind. They're all important. Take up the entire armor of God, Christian. The chorus. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage, encourage each other. I... Oh, hear the plea. Fight, fight, fight the battle. It's a battle, folks. Uh, resist the devil and he will flee. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, in high places. Friends, we are in a battle that we can't see. We have to resist the battle. We resist temptation, really. We need to embrace the fact that we are in a battle. We're in a battle with unseen creatures, unseen beings. We need to resist the devil and he will flee. Uh, James 4, 7, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil and he will flee. Friends, there's one thing you got to understand. The devil is not God. He's not all-knowing. He, he's... Not all powerful. Thank you, God, for that. We can resist him. We can take comfort in the fact that he's not God. He's not all powerful. And we can resist him. Turn, turn to each other, encourage each other, or hear the plea. The last scripture, yeah. Last scripture we'll consider Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. And let us consider one another to provoke unto, to, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good works. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the Man is so much that exhorting one another and so much more as ye see the day approaching. The only way we can uh, win this battle, folks, is together. We need to encourage each other. If you see a brother or sister struggling, bring them in. Encourage each other or you. You know, the Roman soldier had some tight formations. Uh, they would put their shields overlapping each other, and they were stronger, and they would put shields above them and below, below them. They would cover each other. The Christian battle is no different. We got to have each other's backs. Turn, turn to each other. Face each other. Encourage each other. 
encourage each other and tell each other to stay strong. Oh, here's a plea. This is a plea. This is a battle. Encourage each other to fight the battle. The song ends with, This is the whole armor of God, Christian, nothing else. Use the armor that God has put in your disposal. Use the helmet of salvation, you the sword of the Spirit, that is the Word of God. Use it. Encourage each other. Resist the devil. Fight him. And you and uh, you will beat him if you fight, if you try, if you put on uh, the armor that God has equipped for us. God has equipped us with this armor. If you put him Put this armor on, you will be victorious in beating the devil. Alright, we covered it. Now let's listen to it one last time. Let me get the video back up. Now that we studied all the relevant scriptures, let's listen to it one last time. Here we go. The whole armor of God. I've got the sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got my ways melted with truth. The shield of faith that quenches. Take up the whole armor of God, Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got our God's righteous breastplate. The gospel shoes on my feet. Take up the whole armor of God, God Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. I've got the prayers of petition. The spirit interceding. Take up the whole armor of God. Christian. Fight, fight, fight the battle. Resist the devil and he will flee. Turn, turn to each other. Encourage each other, oh, hear the plea. This is the whole armor of God. Christian. All right, we covered it. I hope that was encouraging uh, to study that hymn together. Know that it is truth that you have all of the army pieces that God wants you to. 
You have everything you need to beat the devil just to equip yourself, arm yourself with those pieces. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we love you. We thank you for giving us the tools and the talents to, uh, to, to beat Satan, to resist him, to stand up to him. Father, please help us not to go weary in fighting him, but just keep on pressing on. We love you, Father. Thank you for the armor. Help us as we continue to study and grow. Help that knowledge of your word to strengthen us so that we can resist the devil. Help us to lean on each other when we are weak. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Public Times.